the Federal Reserve lowered its key interest rate by a hefty half percentage point Wednesday, moving ahead with its first rate cut in four years and cheering markets that expected an emphatic move amid a softening jobs picture. With the slowing labor market posing a growing risk to the economic expansion, Fed officials opted for a bold approach to launch a projected flurry of rate cuts now that inflation is easing. But the central bank forecast a total of just a half point in additional cuts the rest of the year, signaling officials don't believe the job market is collapsing. The Fed has gained greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward 2% and judges that the risks to achieving its employment and inflation goals are roughly in balance, the Fed said in a statement after a two-day meeting. The economic outlook is uncertain, and the Fed is attentive to the risks of both sides of its dual mandate. Fed officials also said, inflation has made further progress toward their 2% goal. The Fed has gained greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward 2% and judges that the risks to achieving its employment and inflation goals are roughly in balance, the Fed said in a statement after a two-day meeting. The economic outlook is uncertain, and the Fed is attentive to the risks of both sides of its dual mandate. Fed officials also said, inflation has made further progress toward their 2% goal. But he added the economy and job market are still on solid footing. Our intent with our policy move today is to keep it there, he said. The time to support the labor market is while it's strong, not when you start seeing layoffs. You can take this as a sign of our commitment not to get behind. What is the current Fed interest rate? The Fed's decision lowers its benchmark short-term rate to a range of 4.75% to 5% from a 23-year high of 5.25% to 5.5%. The move is expected to ripple through the economy, providing the first dose of relief in years to Americans who have struggled with high borrowing costs for mortgages, credit cards, and auto and other loans. Are interest rates expected to go down in 2024? Besides forecasting a dip in the federal funds rate to a range of 4.5% to 4.75% by year's end, Fed policymakers penciled in the equivalent of four more quarter-point cuts next year and another two in 2026, according to their median estimate. That roadmap that would reduce the key rate to about 2.9% by the end of 2026. Yet officials were divided with nine looking for a smaller drop in rates by December, nine seeking a percentage point drop, and one projecting a steeper drop. Powell said Fed officials can speed up or slow the pace of rate cuts, depending on how the economy and inflation evolve. The economy has been sturdy, growing at a 3% annual rate in the second quarter, giving the Fed another reason to whittle down rates at a measured pace but the central bank Wednesday slightly downgraded its economic growth forecast for 2024, and it raised its estimate of the year-end unemployment rate while lowering its inflation projection. In recent months, Fed policymakers have said they were drawing closer to reducing the Fed funds rate now that risks to their mandates of stable prices and maximum employment have become more balanced. Some forecasters have said the rate already should be at a neutral level of less than 4%, which theoretically would neither spur nor slow the economy. And the Fed was behind the curve. The Fed lifts rates to curb borrowing and economic activity to bring down inflation. It lowers rates to stimulate the economy and stave off or propel the nation from recession. Barclays estimates a report later this month will show it fell from to 2.2% in August from 2.5% the previous month, while the core measure ticked up to 2.7% as goods prices fell, while the cost of services such as rent and healthcare marched higher. Hey guys, thanks for watching. My video will meet in the next video. Stay safe, stay happy, and be ready for next video.